I knew they were good. Look, no, I know food, good. right? They're I know good. food. I knew they were good, but you know, you're telling me like it's up there. What's up everyone? I'm Chris and this is Heat My Words, the channel that takes your taste buds all the way around the world. And today's celebrity guest is someone that I've admired for so long and I am so pleased that they reached out. Here's your first clue. They own the One Bell Pub. Come with me. Clue number two. He played against this guy in the Premier League and this is the last shirt that Shearer wore at St. James's Park. And clue number three, it was on I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here! And the last and final clue is, he's got his own pizza and his own dessert. Let's go and meet the man himself. And if you haven't already guessed by now, Leggy Chili Bullard. Thanks so much for coming down. Mate, thank I can't you believe you're in my pub. I can't believe you sent me a voice note. That was, I played it to myself a good like, I'm gonna say 67 times. Really? Mate, I've watched you on the TV the celebration is like, I remember acting that out in like, I was at uni at the time and yeah, doing all, yeah. oh mate. Everyone comes up to me on the road, oh, do, do your celebration, do your celebration, I still get it. The one thing I don't think gets enough credit is there was something happening on the goal line and you've just bombed it 60 yards <laughs> and just jumped over everyone. Yeah, that's boredom. <laughs> I just get bored easy on the pitch. It was like a week in Wigan, one night, one man and their dog watching, and I just got bored. It was a nil-nil game, and I just dived over the crowd. That was the game Duncan Ferguson got sent off as well, by the way. But yeah, anyway, another antique that I got up to. Mate, I'm sure you've got fucking tons of stories, but the yeah. story that we're here for is, yep. how the fuck do you go from a footballer to a pub owner to a pizza maker? Well, well, the story was, my dad, my family has always been publicans. Mm -hmm. You know, born in the East End of London, my granddad, you know, run four, five, six pubs. Um, and as you know, it's a dying breed. The pubs are dying breed, you know. So me and my dad see this little gem, the one bell in Crayford, 15 years ago, and South Facing Garden. That's what, because this was never like this. This was half fenced off, and they tried to get planning down there. It was never going to happen. We never had the terrace. So the vision was this, what we're sitting in today, which I think absolutely looks fantastic. But years ago, we bought this little pub and we call it a little TARDIS and we've had it for 15 years, me and my dad. Well, our family's got it, but me and dad are real hands-on and we absolutely love it. And, you know, it's something my dad give up building for to run a pub. So that, it's always been in the family and I absolutely love it. But I, I'm more hands-on now. When my dad's getting older, I'll try and get involved. And in stepping onto these fabulous pizzas are the boys that have been here since April and almost turned the pub inside out and changed the dynamic of it. Um, so Tell me a bit more about Rodney and Delboy then. Behind. Rodney and Delboy. Walter Italian and Dennis. Rodney and Delboy. Well, come from Napoli, two boys. When I first sat down with them, a uh, big thing for me when I'm employing any stuff is enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. As soon as I sat down with them, it was like an overflood of like just talking about pizzas. Now, me, I'm a foodie, okay. but I don't know the ins and outs of a pizza. They're talking to me about the dough, the way they prep, the way they dish, where can I have the kitchen? We've got a fa fabulous kitchen upstairs. They're talking to me about all the ingredients. Everything's fresh, everything's in your face. The oven they pulled in near like, enough needed like a truck to get it in, it was that heavy. But as soon as we built this lovely pizza here in the back here, you know, just, I knew they were the boys. I knew that what they were gonna do was change the dynamic of the pub. We always cried out for food here. Um, I've tried it with a chef, it's, it's become a lot of hard work for us. Chefs are really unreliable. Mm -hmm. And that is another thing that really pushed me towards them. They wanted to make it work. They wanted to make the business work. So that for me and dad and Chrissy, we're so happy that we can bring a quality product like that. Why have in a pint, like there isn't a lot of places. Screens everywhere. Oh, we've got World live Cup screens. coming like up in this. a few months. I'm telling you now, it is absolutely pucker. You know, honestly, we've got great clientele. Um, and we're just going up. It's, it's like that now, you know. And right. as you see, it's a lovely pub. It looks the part. You it's, know, it's we're a phenomenal. Look. I mean, obviously, they've got some incredible shirts: a Shearer shirt, Maradona yeah. shirt. And I try to you keep some like cheap one in there, Bullard no, shirt. Yeah, Settle down, Chrissy. <laughs> you know, didn't you? But we've got Alan Shearer's last ever shirt worn at, worn at the tomb. Like we've got some amazing bits in there, and I, I just wanted to keep. You know, I play football, right? My dad's really proud of it. We're really proud as a family, so we keep that sort of experience in the pub. Definitely so what do, you, what do you think? Give me your... Um, I've had a few... I know you're I won't say slices. I'm a bit scared say of what pizzas. you're gonna tell me because I think they're fantastic. And so look at this, right? That yeah. is 
perfect undercarriage, is what they say. Undercarriage, that Under call it? that's what they call it. That's the what El Presidente says. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. He is the pizza god. Can I fly in? <laughs> is that what we're here for? Asking me at your pub. If yeah, you I know, but in. I didn't know how it went. You got a serious platform. That's why I called you in. This is this. So, can you handle a bit of heat? Cool. It's lively, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I I wouldn't say this is that. Oh, it's definitely lively. That right. Is, it's how they've mastered a thin crust. Uh, sorry, a thin base with a soft crust is incredible. Look at it. It's got a tiger bread sort of style feel right underneath yeah yeah, yeah. It's right. like, yeah it's the italian sausage and also they put chili on top I of like it. a bit of italian sausage yeah oh yeah <laughs> partial to a bit of sausage but right spicy i'm gonna say that's a for me what do you reckon yeah seriously a five out of ten for spice really what are we talking about in terms of price it's an eight out of ten price that is very cheap how I'll much is that dennis 11 pound like, i'll be honest funny undervalued yeah i think i think you could be churning that out 15 16 pound and if that chart starts changing that's all because of this video yep um this is sensational like sensational really? we were all talking so i've got john the food don here i've got fat boy london you've got the boys here look at this these guys you and we all in. just Sorry, looked at it right here come on i can't believe all the boys he's bought some serious platforms down today boy <laughs> yeah <laughs> Wow. Got, look, when Jimmy Bullard gives you, sends you a little voice note, you've got to turn up. I'm just grateful for you to come down, really. Yeah. This is Italian crap. I swear to God, I will buy yeah, it in the real. bucket loads now. The prep they do. God, that's lively. <laughs> Spice so review. For, for, We're for going me, out of for, 10. The review. I, honestly, no blag. I'm going to give you a 9 point. I think the way it's it can higher. make higher. Yeah, it's spicier for me. That's yeah, it. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, I'm a heat guy. The quality? Yeah, but you like the heat. What about the quality, mate? The best. Give me honest. I'm, be, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not be honest critical, This is yeah. the best dough I have ever had. I've, yeah, you I keep going with, on about the dough, you but that's boys. what makes the fucking pizza. It's not about that's what it's it's, you think. Yeah. You think it's all about the toppings and stuff like that. It's the dough that makes the pizza. No one's touching that. that. That's the best dough I've had. <laughs> is it day. really? That is the best dough I've had. Yes, day. boys! I told you you could do it. Now give us a cuddle. <laughs> That's what we do. Hey, 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 whoa! We made the best dough on the market. Yeah, and don't tell no one. <laughs> come on! We need to get El Presidente to come from New York to here. Is that the governor? Was that, that is, was that, that is. Elite, That's the, the guy elite, who owns elite. Barstool. Oh, that's elite. Right, you know, come watch the live football, everyone. have a drink with your mates. Please come down and try our pizzas and our little pork loins and whatever the boys put on. And they're right. doing the lasagna in the next couple coming months. I've been driving it and driving it and making a Is homemade. that your thing? Is lasagna your thing? You say yeah, you're a foodie. Yeah, we just want it a bit more nice and forky and a bit more like um, we're going to turn that into a bit more of a restaurant next month. And then, yeah, I just I think. Oh. Can you do a lasagna pizza? Can do Ooh. Well, we, we yeah, watch this space then. I knew they were good. Look, no, I know food, good. right? They're I know good. food. I knew they were good. But, you know, you're telling me, like, it's up there, Jim. So. I'll, I'll show you off camera other pizzas that I've done who have won awards. Yeah, like, yeah. one Is that award worthy? That's award worthy. That, that'd be on there. Hey! But, no but. pay rides yet, though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> easy, on, easy on the till, boy. <laughs> You've got them on transfer deadline day. They are, they're they're going to be sitting the old gaffer down soon and go, gaff. Do you know what? It's their business. They're, they're, they're it's their business within this business, so they can do what they want. They assess the price. They are, and do you know what? I've left them to it. I want them to love it. I don't want to chop the legs off before they can walk. So I think it's really important they just go and earn their money. Right, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm Chris. This is Jimmy, and this is Heat My Words. Stay spicy, my people. <laughs>